I stole my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll call you later. Okay, Dolly, see you later. Bye. Nice to meet you, Deb. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye. This is Deb. She actually came over just, what did you even come over for now? To tell you about your tree. Oh, my tree yeah. fell down. <laughs> and then we got talking and I started playing with her hair and then she was so kind to let me do her makeup. And I think this is so fun because we have completely different skin tones. I've been so lucky. I had my mother-in-law on last week and I have Deb this week. And it's so much fun to play with somebody else's makeup and not my own face. I get kind of bored doing that. We're gonna go on with the video, but before we do, can you hit the subscribe button? It would help me out so much. If you like this video, hit the like button and let's get on with the video. So what are you using to wash your face? What are you using to moisturize? Uh, soap. Yep, just regular soap for my face. I use, it's called Skin Essence. It's a company here and I believe it's in Ontario. It's a definitely a Canadian company and that's it. When you're freshly out of the shower, how does your skin feel? Does it's it, dry. It's dry? Mm -hmm. It feels tight a yes. little bit? Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about the skin as far as exfoliation goes and skin cell turnover? No, I don't. When you're young, your skin cells turn over and replenish itself. The skin cells kind of grow up and then the dead skin sloughs off. Okay. And the new skin comes up. Mm -hmm. As we age, that process is slower. If you kind of picture it like bark on a tree, when you peel the bark, you can see yes. the brand new skin underneath and it yes. looks moist and hydrated. So if we don't remove those dead skin cells, your moisturizer and your oil is not going to penetrate as deep as it could. We want to help it along a little bit. This is Polish Choice Skin Perfecting 6% Mandelic Acid and 2% Lactic Acid. I'm going to use Sigma Hydra Melt Lip Mask. Something else to consider when you're looking at your skincare is using something with a vitamin C. So if you put mm -hmm. a vitamin C on an apple, for an example, then that apple is not going to go brown. It protects your skin from the environment. I can feel that you need to exfoliate. I'm a little hot, but can you feel mine compared to yours? Do you feel oh, a yeah. difference? Yeah. So it's a bit it's rougher. Mm -hmm. Something it's a little... like dead skin, dry yes. skin. Yeah. If we can get that exfoliated, then your mm -hmm. moisturizer will sink in better. Okay. And you're going to get more out of it. I'm going to use the Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani, and this is in the color 8. So your face, like a lot of people, is darker than your neck. We have a choice of matching your chest or matching your neck. I always like to match your chest mm -hmm. because you will feel far too pale if I match your neck because mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. used to seeing this color. Yes, it's all and it's summertime. Yeah, exactly. So I just placed it on your cheek, but then the rest, I'm dragging it out, making sure that it all blends. How does it feel on your skin? It doesn't feel like I have anything on. That's why so many people like this foundation. And just a touch here, just to make sure that it's all connected. You don't really need coverage, but I, I just want to make so sure. So you don't have that line. Yeah. If you're going to wear your hair up, I would take some on your ears. Okay. That's mm -hmm. very common. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it today though, because you're mm -hmm. not wearing your hair up. I think I might just use a touch mixed with a very tiny amount just to shear it out a little bit because I don't want coverage on your neck. I mm -hmm. just want the same tone. Gorgeous. For concealer, you actually don't have a lot of darkness. I'm just gonna focus right on the inner corner. Can you look up for me? And I'm just gonna dust it lightly. Look up again, just blend it. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty. And right under your eye, just a touch there. And then I'm just taking a fluffy brush to make sure it's all softened out. I might take a little bit of this, just lighten up your chin area, a tiny, tiny bit. Some people use an eyeshadow primer, some people use concealer. In your case, we're keeping this very basic and this color really works for you. So I'm mm -hmm. just using the same concealer on your eye. I might take a little bit of that, like it just whatever's left on my brush, just a little bit right in there. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is we want the lightness of your face to be in the center. Everything that we do is gonna kind of pull the focus into your eyes and your smile. Just a little bit, very small amount, hardly anything on my brush.
And that's also going to pull some of this color up into your face. Yes. It's a more uniform yeah. color now. Yeah. If you ever feel like you have too much, you can mm -hmm. just pat it out. You can take a clean brush mm -hmm. and go over it. Mm -hmm. You can use a sponge, whatever you want. Okay. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever HD Face Sculpting Palette. For Deb, I'm gonna dip into the two of these and I'm using a Sigma F76. So I'm gonna go from the top of your ear and kind of in that direction. Doesn't have to be perfect. But we're gonna start right in here. And I don't need a lot. And this is a cream product, so great for dry skin. Easy to blend, turn. Yeah, and you see, you really can't see the difference, but you can. It just gave yes. you a lift, mm -hmm. but nobody knows what we just did except for I just showed everybody. <laughs> and I'm not gonna contour your forehead because you have a smaller forehead. So there's nothing to contour. We don't wanna make you smaller there. And I'm not gonna contour your nose. We don't need to, con you've got a little cute nose. So we're not gonna do that either. Okay. Oh, it really has a, not a defining line, but. Lifts you. Yes, right? Thank you. <laughs> it gives you a little bit of a lift. That's how the stars do it. They don't wake up like that. <laughs> So I did feel like I went a little low right mm -hmm. here and I'm just cleaning it up. Okay. That's the beauty about makeup. Yes. Easy to fix. If I wanted to, I don't think I would for you because it's just not your, your style. But if you're going out for a special occasion, you could go right here. Just a And that defines yes. the jawline? Yeah. So more so in this cooler color. This is more of your warmth. You want this color. I am going to use something kind of neutral actually. I think I'm gonna go in with this one and dip into that one. Because you don't wear makeup very often, I wanna mm -hmm. be subtle first. So I'm starting off in the outer corner. And by the way, this is a refer number 13. So I'm just going in circular motions. Yeah, this is a good mix for you. And whatever's left on my brush, I'm pulling it up. Let me see. Making it just a touch deeper. So I'm choosing a fairly small brush. The smaller the brush, the more detailed it is. It's also fairly stiff, so okay. it's allowing me to deposit color. If I changed it to a fluffy brush that has more flex to it, yes. then it's going to diffuse and blend. So say I went too heavy here if mm -hmm. it wasn't blending, mm -hmm. you would just take an empty brush and brush it over. Yeah, I think I might even cheat it out a little bit more. I'm amazed at how little does such a difference. Yes. Like you just really need just a little bit. Tiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna just go into that one. I do wanna pull that up a little bit more. When you have your eyes open, you wanna be sure to be able to still see that color and okay. that's what's gonna give you your lift. So don't go directly in the crease, you're mm -hmm. gonna go above the above. crease. Okay. I'm gonna take a rougher 03. I'm actually gonna go into the darker color. Again, starting on that outer corner and whatever's left on my brush, I'm dragging it in and it will automatically go from dark to light because I'm not re-dipping. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And you can feel I'm going right against your lash line, right? Mm -hmm. So you wanna make sure it's part of your lashes. Gorgeous. I am going to put a bit of shimmer. Are you okay with that? Sure. So this one is Dial Up the Gold. That's pretty. It's very subtle, actually. It's a very usable palette. So there's shimmer and then there's shimmer. Mm -hmm. This is the shimmer. Okay. <laughs> Just adds that little bit of light, but nothing too crazy. And look down for me. Same thing, you can blink if you want to blink. What mascara do you use if you wear it? Have you not worn one in a while? I haven't worn any in so long. Wiggle and pull. Oh wow, what a difference. Right? Okay, and look down. I feel like this lash curler is almost a bit big for your eye. Look down again for me. I feel like I could have curled this lash better. 
So I'm gonna use a bit of powder right in this area mm -hmm. where you're shiny, and that's where you're red, so we really wanna have that stay. Mm -hmm. But do you see the pores just disappear when I did that? Mm -hmm. Our pores get larger as we age. Yes, I've noticed. On the chin. You got such a cute nose. <laughs> I'm gonna do right here as well. Mm -hmm. So that's where the pores are more prominent, mm -hmm. right there, there, mm -hmm. and in your chin. Mm -hmm. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna go around. There's not much there, but it is something. So it's gonna set it a little bit. Now look forward. There's a lash that's wanting to stick to the other one. You're very trusting with a woman with no glasses mm -hmm. on. I am a professional. <laughs> I can do this blind. This is called Rosewood and it's very soft. You are dark, so it might mm -hmm. not give us enough, but we'll try that one. This is by Dior. I'm using a Refer 05, it is my favorite. See, there's not a lot of product that comes no. off. And then we're gonna, oh yeah, that's gonna be enough. Now, how long would this take? Half of it is figuring out what colors look good on you. Yes, once, once you have everything, let's say. Yeah. Do your makeup in the morning and everything. Oh, I can have that done in 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Now, I didn't put any mascara on your bottom lashes. Let's put a little bit on. I don't really love this brush for this, though. Maybe just a little bit in the outer corner. Because those are a little bit lighter. When I do a bottom lash, if I get too much, I will kind of pinch it off. Or mm -hmm. I'll take like an empty spoolie and remove a little bit of it. Yeah, that's nice. It makes it a little bit more defined here. On the top lashes, I pull it right to the tip. Generally, I don't do that on the bottom. I don't want them to look long and spiky and pull your eye down. Your I lips. have very small lips, thin lips. You have lips that fit your face. <laughs> There's so much color in what you're doing mm. here and you have a good eye for it. Does it transfer, not necessarily like to be a interior designer, but you can you can judge and go, yep. I feed off of you. You're my inspiration. I need something like that. I don't know, there's something about working with a person that's very different than working with things. This is called Love Trap. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. Hopefully, this is gonna be very similar to your lip color. So I'm gonna overdraw a slight bit. It's not even overdrawing, it's just like a touch on the outside. Just a touch. Yeah, I wish I wasn't blocking the light. Here, I can turn. Well, you need oh, to stay yeah, that yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Did I go a bit too high on that side? I can't see. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> We're just keeping our fingers crossed that everything's in place. Mm -hmm. Make sure. I fill it in a little bit as well, just a touch. It helps your lipstick stay on better. If you ever go out of the line, which I think I did, because we can't see very well, <laughs> just use a bit of your foundation or a Q-tip to go over it. That is your perfect lip color. We're trying 90s Pink by Charlotte Tilbury. That's a nice color. Yeah, and I don't think I need any gloss. That feels comfortable to you? Yes. I feel that's good. Yeah, the other one was just too, too 80s. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> okay, now your brows and we're done. Let me see if I can just comb them up. What happens? That one's absolutely perfect. You might even be perfect on the other side. Just darken the white ones. <laughs> no, I don't even see that. Mm. I must have flipped them. <laughs> I have a Viseart palette. This is a Sigma E06. It's like some little hair strokes just to make it a little bit more even. Yeah, I feel better with that. I just gave a little bit of shape here. Do you see mm -hmm. that? I don't, so minor. You do not need to do this. I'm just being picky. 
and I might extend it out just a touch. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so different. Oh my God, thank yeah. you. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Thank you. I love it, it looks great. I learned so much. Did you? Yes, because awesome. I don't usually wear makeup, no. so it was really interesting to see all the process. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you liked this. I had so much fun playing with Deb's makeup. We just got that fresh look that we wanted. I hope you learned a lot. All the products that I used today on Deb will be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links. If you use them, it does help me out a lot. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm just so happy that you're here with us. As this video ends, it's gonna recommend another video for you. I hope that you stick with me and watch some more. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.